Thanks, Chair. I thought Live Music Motion, I'll lose the tie and put on the big dramatic coat. So what I want to uh, note, first of all, is we've got no history at conferences or at a federal or state level of having a live music policy. And the reason is this is an area that's always been commercial, that's never really needed federal government or state government or even local council to think too much about it. The whole environment's changed whether it's the difficulties that venues are facing, whether it's the foundation of how an artist makes money now that they've got streaming and people aren't buying their albums in the same ways, whether it's the challenges when people buy tickets online and they get directed to fake tickets at Viagogo or other sites, a whole lot of things that used to make up how Australian music would be a career path for someone have fallen apart over the last decade. And we've got one simple objective. We want our music to always form the soundtrack to life in Australia. That's what this is about. That's why we're making sure at a state and federal level we're defending live music, we're defending copyright for artists, and we're making sure that as every generation grows up in this country, they're hearing our stories, our music, our voices as the pathway to make sure that the Australian soundtrack is always our own.